Pastor Carlos, I just did a prayer, but I feel from God to do another prayer. God put this in my heart. I want to pray for your children right now. And I want to pray over the nightmares that they be having. Amen. That, they, that torment them at night. Um, I want to pray against every evil spirit that torments them. It torments you in your house. And I want you to come into an agreement and I don't want you to be afraid. Amen. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And I'm going to tell you something that Psalm 91 says a thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. The enemy wants to terrorize you. He wants to, uh, uh, he wants to intimidate you. Let me tell you something. Sometimes we let people in our houses and we don't know what they're carrying on them. People of God and friends, Facebook, YouTube, the devil is real and so is his demons. They're real. God is real. His angels is real. Heaven and hell is real. Understand that Satan and his demons hate you. Understand that there are people, amen, especially when you don't have Christ, you open doors to demonic manifestation and oppression. Also, when your parents that used to or probably still are practicing uh, uh, witchcraft, uh, card reading, and all these things that opens doors to manifestations to spirits, my family has done it for many years and generations. And praise the Lord that he, God delivered them from that. <clears throat> but I was being tormented as a child of things that I had no understanding of because of what they were doing. These are evil spirits, amen. This is not a gift from God. That is a lie of the devil, amen. I want to make this very clear to you. The enemy wants to mimic everything that is of God. Uh, so the things that you go through in life, amen. Sometimes you wonder, why am I going through this? Sometimes, you know, it's, it's because we make bad decisions in life. God allows certain things to happen. But at the same time, you have to understand that when you have purpose in God, the enemy will put up traps so that you will never get to where you're supposed to go, so that you will never fulfill the will of God and the purpose of God in your life. So I just want to pray with you right now. And I want to pray over your children because your son is not going to be like his daddy. Your daughter's not going to be like you or your mama. You are not going to be like your parents. Amen. You're not going to be like your brother, like your sister. I declare and decree that you are going to be from right now who God says that you will be in Jesus' mighty name. And I bind and I rebuke every demon in your house, every spirit of alcoholism and drugs. I bind every spirit of torment of witchcraft. I bind every spirit of santeria, of voodoo, and every witchcraft that has ran in your family and your generations, tarot card reading, and every sorcery and every magic in Jesus' mighty name. I declare and decree that as I pray right now that there be a heavy protection over me and over you in your house right now. I pray that the angels of God will surround your house right now in Jesus' mighty name. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life right now, over your family, your children, your marriage, your husband, your home, your door, your finance, your health, in Jesus' mighty name. I bind every spirit that torments your children right now. That torments them with nightmares. That makes them panic in the dark and fear the darkness. I declare and decree that you shall be delivered in Jesus' mighty name. And that every foul spirit has to leave your house right now. Through every door, through every window, we close every portal. And I want you praying. Close every portal. I want you to say, I close every portal. I close every gate. I close every door from my generation, from my father, from my mother's side, and from every generation before them. I close every gate, every door, and every portal from the pits of hell. I cancel every assignment against my life and against my family in Jesus' mighty name. And I plead the blood over myself and over my family and children. I declare and decree that this hallelujah house shall be the house of the Lord, the almighty God. Amen. 
I also want you to pray against past relationships and soul ties. I want you to say, Lord, I cancel right now and I bind and I release unto your hands every soul tie of my past. Past relationship, past marriage, hallelujah, emotional relationships, hallelujah. Whether you had a mental uh, relationship, whether it be through pornography, hallelujah, through lust, through any type of lust, hallelujah, I bind the spirit, hallelujah, that seduces you in your bed, that touches you at night, hallelujah, that gives you these dreams, hallelujah, of married men and married women, hallelujah, or of other people that you desire to be with, Lord God. Father God, I pray right now that the Lord, hallelujah, breaks every stronghold in your life in Jesus mighty name Lord God that you give them the strength hallelujah hallelujah to resist the enemy to resist temptation to resist these addictions hallelujah I pray also for those hallelujah that go through withdrawals hallelujah through medication through drug addiction alcoholism hallelujah cocaine marijuana and every drug whether it be ecstasy heroin no matter what it is crack cocaine hallelujah I pray right now hallelujah that all withdrawals will cease from your life in Jesus mighty name hallelujah that you will grow hallelujah stronger hallelujah in your faith in God hallelujah in Jesus mighty name that you will start to reject everything hallelujah of this world that is not of God I declare and decree hallelujah that you will start to get nauseous of these things even to cigarettes hallelujah beer alcohol even if it's wine that's oppressing you no matter what it is hallelujah that is oppressing you hallelujah that is self-medicating you hallelujah that is pulling you away from God. I declare and decree that every stronghold over your life be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray against every gang mentality, every murderous mentality. Hallelujah. Every mentality of, 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 of pedophile, of rape, of kidnap in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Every murderous spirit, every spirit of rebellious, of unforgiveness, of unforgiveness in Jesus' mighty name of sorcery. Hallelujah. And of witchcraft to cease to be gone from your life we bind every authority in Jesus mighty name and I loosen the blessings of God I loosen the peace of God in your home in your life deliverance I loosen your healing hallelujah I loosen hallelujah your deliverance hallelujah I loosen hallelujah a financial breakthrough and financial help my God I pray that the Lord shall sustain you in Jesus mighty name hallelujah I pray for peace of your mind hallelujah I declare and decree that you will overcome depression you will overcome anxiety you will overcome phobias and your fears hallelujah everything hallelujah that you panic whether it be success whether you panic to be successful or you feel that you will never be successful hallelujah whether you can't read or write whether you don't got your GD your high school diploma hallelujah whether you don't got your driver's license whatever it is hallelujah that is in your way I declare and decree that every stone be broken that every hidden wall hallelujah be shattered that everything that is keeping you down everything that is making you feel hallelujah and believe that this was the life that God gave you. The devil is a liar. This is not the life that God gave you. Hallelujah. This is the life that the enemy, hallelujah, tricked you into going into. This is a path that you chose. Hallelujah. But in Jesus' mighty name, I declare and decree that a new road shall open. And that is the road to salvation. I want you to pray this prayer. Father, I come before your presence. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I renounce. Hallelujah. I reject. I repent. And to repent means to turn away from from sin. Lord, and I give you my heart, my soul, my mind. I declare and decree, hallelujah, that I am your child, Father God. Lord, I pray that you accept me into your kingdom. I renounce the devil. I renounce, hallelujah, every act of sin. Forgive me for all my sins and all my trespasses. Forgive me for all my wrong thinking, all my reservations, my wrong planning, my wrong doing, Father God. Hallelujah. And I pray that the Holy Spirit starts to educate me right now. Break every stronghold in my life and make me into what you call me to be. Mold me. Hallelujah. I understand that it might not change from one day to another. Lord, but even though I fall, hallelujah, 70 times 7, Lord, you shall pick me up. Hallelujah. A thousand times, a hundred times, you shall pick me up. Hallelujah. For when I'm weak, my God, you make me strong, Lord, and you are strong in my weakness. Hallelujah. Your power is perfected in my weakness, Lord God. But let the weak say today, I 
am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Hallelujah. Because of what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. You are blessed and highly favored. You are the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. You are above and not beneath. Hallelujah. You are a lender and not a borrower. You are successful and not defeated. You shall not die, but you shall live. Rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. Because he has heard your prayer. Hallelujah. And if you connect it with this prayer, I want you to receive the peace of God. Receive the joy of God. Hallelujah. And each time, hallelujah, the enemy tries to come against you or your children. I want you, hallelujah, to lay hands. Hallelujah. And declare the promises of God. People of God, no one is saying that you got to read a whole chapter of the Bible, which is wonderful if you can. But if you can read a little verse, hallelujah, if you can just take two minutes of your time a day, you'll start, hallelujah, to grow. The Bible says that faith comes by the hearing and hearing the word of God. If you want faith, you can't just pray for faith. You need to hear God's instructions and you need to hear the word of God. So you need to read the word of God because man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the Lord's mouth, which is the Bible, the word of God. That's what Jesus told unto Satan. So if you want the enemy, hallelujah, to flee from your life, get into your word, get into a prayer, hallelujah, and you're going to see how your life is going to change. Your health is going to change. Change your life around your sleeping patterns, your eating patterns. Cut certain people people of your life, hallelujah, that is negative. People, places, and things. You want to change? Get out of your environment. Let me tell you something. I know you love your friends and, and you don't know how to leave them, but let me tell you something right now. It's costing you a lot. It's costing you pain. When somebody calls you with negativity over the phone, don't even pick it up. I'm sorry. Pray for that person. Tell that person either they need counseling, they need to pray about it, go to Jesus. Amen. But you need your peace. You have to understand that we're like sponges. We hear all this negative stuff and we think that it don't affect us, but it starts to affect us. If you suffer from depression, anxiety, don't be watching things, hallelujah, that is going to oppress you more. Don't be listening to gossip or getting involved, hallelujah. And also learn how to hold your tongue from being the gossiper, amen. God bless you all. Um, and just have a good day, man. Remember, this is the day that the Lord has made. Be glad and rejoice in it. God bless you.